Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make this stand-up box card for a music lover in your life. The birthday box card stands up for display and then folds flat to mail in a five and a half by eight inch envelope. Now I was starting to get ready to film this video and to be honest um, the front of this card that I completed and what I planned on using was Tonic Studios gold mirror mirror mirror, mirror card okay but I don't know if you can even see it when I look through the lens I could not no matter I can try uh, different angles that mirror card just didn't want to film decent um, but I uh, this is what the box card looks like um, it has all the musical instruments and um, notes and everything which are dies from tonic studios um, so I changed the mirror card for some what's called Miri sparkle gold um, card from the paper cut so um, for purposes of so you can actually see what that jukebox front looks like I'm changing that out <clears throat> um, by the way all the tonic musical dies um, are on sale right now at scrapbook.com if you're here in March of 2018 so the links to all of them will be um, in my description I no longer have the packaging but um, I'm using a lot of the tonic uh, studios musical um, dies on this um, box card so here's how to make a box card it is very easy. Um, we are starting with a piece of cardstock that is cut ten and three quarters by six and a half. And then um, we are scoring um, the long on the long side at two and a half, five, seven and a half, and ten. So in your scoreboard, you're going to score this way at two and a half, five inches, seven and a half inches, and ten. And then um, on this, you're going to fold all of those in mountain folds. And on the tab part here, you're going to cut the the smaller, uh, the top part off. So um, you cut that off, and then. Um, you can see that this is longer and this is shorter. On the shorter side, you're going to cut between all of the lines. So uh, cutting all four of those um, lines up to the middle. Now we're not going to, at this point, fold down on this one yet. Um, you, would, you would stop there. <clears throat> and we would put a good strong piece of score tape on that tab. So once again we've done the scoring and the cutting. We've cut this off, okay, and then um, you are going to um, fold this over, take the top off the score tape, and attach those together. Now usually I choose to make that tabbed portion the back of the card, but it's not all that important. Um, we're going to fold down the front and the two sides of the box card. And we're going to leave the back one straight up, okay? So um, the sides and, and the front get folded down and the back stays straight up. Now, for this card, we're going to cut off the front one. Now, typically in a box card, you don't do that. I mean, of course, it's optional. But we're going to be putting a, um, the jukebox piece on the front of the card, and that stands up taller than the front. So you could just cut that off. Okay. So now we have also cut two pieces four inches by one inch and we've scored at three quarters of an inch on both sides and we're folding on those score lines and I've applied good strong two-sided tape to both sides of both the tabs. 
Now, removing one piece at a time, because this stuff is really strong, as you know, and if, if he sticks to the wrong place, you're not going to be able to move it. We're going to put this in all the way to the back and attach one side. And then we're going to remove that tape on the other side. And attach. Now I normally just use regular score tape, uh, not the red liner kind, but I didn't have any of the normal score tape um, in the thicker size, so and it doesn't really matter. You could also use glue, good glue if you wanted to, um, but I prefer to use a uh, thicker piece of score type tape. Now the next piece you're going to take and you're going to butt it right up to that first piece, first one that you did. And then remove the other side. These like to stick to your fingers, don't they? And attach. So it is that easy to make a box card. Now we just need to decorate it. Now there are dies available that make box cards and those are really cute but I like the larger size that this makes um, and you know if you look for videos or um, on Pinterest there's many different types of box cards but this is the size that I chose for my musical one so I have lots of pieces <clears throat> I'm going to attach a <clears throat> Red piece dupes. This one's not going to work for that, is it? Let's see if this will. This was just a thin red paper, but <clears throat> you know, you can choose if you want a thinner weight or a cardstock weight, that's fine. I'm going to attach it with a little bit of a border on all sides. And then I have um, <clears throat> that piece is two and three eighths by three and three eighths, and I attached it to the back of the um, box. And then I have two pieces that are two and a quarter by two and a half, and they're going to go on the side flaps. Again, with a little border. I did cut these some of these pieces out of that gold mirror card. I don't know if you can see it or not in the in the camera, but that's just a single note, um, and I'm going to attach that with micro glue dots. To the back piece. And then on the left side, we're going to take two of these. Um, these guys are called Dance Tribute from uh, Tonic Studios. And I am going to attach the uh, black, the black um, version. Um, to the gold one, um, offsetting it just a bit. Now this gold mirror card, not only does it not film well in the camera, in the lights, but it also does not like liquid glue. And if you get any on there, it really shows. So I'm using a, um, uh, a uh, dots runner um, that goes where you want it to go and doesn't go where it's not supposed to. Um, to add some adhesive to our dancing guy. And then I'm going to put him on the gold one, offsetting him just a little bit.
and then I'm going to um, put some more dots runner on him and attach him to the left side flap. I really like that look with the offset of the gold on there. <clears throat> this is called um, Piano Melody. Again, it's in the gold. I, ho I hope you can see it. But it's a very pretty um, die from Tonic. And once again, I'm going to use some uh, micro glue dots. I don't know how I ever lived without these in creating cards before. They're nice and small, so you can usually hide them behind even the smallest piece. So I'm hiding it behind a piano key and then putting one on the very end and just folding it up a little bit. So we're going to attach this flat to this side and then we're going to lift it up a little bit and attach it to the bottom. So we have uh, some dimension to our piano keys. And then I'm going to take some more musical notes and some more micro glue dots. And attach this with the piano keys. So on the um, inside, of the um, two tabs, um, we're going to put a um, electric guitar and a treble clef. On the electric guitar, I've just attached some skinny score tape to um, the bottom middle pieces. And we're going to put this down at an angle and attach with those uh, pieces of score tape to the first tab. Um, I've taken a treble clef um, which is um, all, kind of all these dies are musical dies are tonic and I'm going to color it um, a gold, a burnished gold, using Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. This color is Indian Gold. Now, um, when you open this for the very first time, there is um, on all of them a um, cover, of course, and you cut around that. But I don't remove it all the way. And when I go to store it, I take a piece of, um, you could take regular saran wrap. I'm using the cling uh, wrap. And I put it on there nice and tight, and then I cover it up. And then the embellishment mousse will stay soft, kind of like butter. But if you don't, um, sometimes, depending on storage and your humidity and everything, it may uh, dry out. So that's what is suggested. If it does dry out, um, I've been told by Tonic um, that you can add a little bit of distilled water and mix it. Um, but storing it this way, I've had great success. Now I have a few of my Tim Holtz um, mini round um, sponges for my distress tool um, that are dedicated to mousse only. So I am um, just applying a little bit um, onto that sponge and I'm going to color this um, a kind of a, I don't know, a kind of a burnished gold. And I just think that's really pretty. Um, doesn't have to be totally covered. I like a little of the black still showing. Um, and I'm leaving this part here, not that I would have to, but I just choose to because that's where I'm going to connect it um, to, the, to the tab. Um, this takes just a little bit of time to dry, just a little bit. Um, 
but we're going to seal this back up again. And close that tightly. And I've done one in advance just to make sure that it's totally dry and doesn't um, come off on anything that I'm applying here. Um, to apply this, I like to just put a piece of regular tape on that piece, the bottom piece, and then um, slide it in on the first tab and kind of attach it at an angle. So we have our treble clef and our uh, sides and our back done. I don't know why this is sticking. Why is this sticking? <clears throat> As I had explained, um, <clears throat> the gold mirror card um, does not film at all well so I changed that to a gold sparkle mirror card um, but if you and no matter what you're putting behind there um, I didn't like being able to see through the jukebox when I attached it and um, if you tried to piece all those pieces back in that would be difficult so what I did on the back of the um, gold card was I laid it down and I traced it all the way around with a pencil and I didn't worry about any of the notes sticking out I just traced the shape and then I cut it out and I cut just to the inside of that line and then I attached the jukebox to the gold um, card so um, that I, I just like the look, whether it be a mirror card or a mirror card or whatever you chose to um, put behind it. If you trace it from the back and then attach it, um, it's, it's going to turn out fine. And I'm going to take some, um, I think I want some of this to attach it. So we want it along the bottom, but not all the way up to the top. So um, a couple pieces through the middle. No, that's not too high, right? Oh. <clears throat> Because you wouldn't want any, any adhesive sticking out from any of these pieces or the box will not open and shut. So our um, musical jukebox jive box card is complete. Um, I, I, if you've never tried one of these, you can see how easy it is um, to do. Um, it stands up straight for display and it folds flat to be mailed in a five and a half by eight envelope. I know that any musical lover would love to receive this musical box card on their birthday. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, and commenting, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.